Welcome to The Nail Engineer um, and today I've got another My Glitterati collection video for you. This time we're going to look at things that aren't strictly glitters. Um, mostly when people think Glitterati they think glitters um, but probably about 50% of what uh, Glitterati sells is like not strictly speaking a glitter. They sell also dusts, pigments, flakes and micro mylar flakes. Um, as well as these are pigments, but these are glow-in-the-dark pigments, which are quite interesting. So I'm just going to talk you through what we actually have in this box. What I'm going to do is, while we talk about the other stuff, I'm going to take out these and I'm going to pop them in my nail lamp because that's an excellent way to charge up whatever it is that makes them glow in the dark, I guess. Um, I'm going to charge that up so that when they come out they'll be like glowing like depleted uranium rods. Um, in the meantime, let's talk about these three first because these are the closest that you'll get to a glitter. They're like a super fine little dust and these are called the reflection powders. And I have got um, three, four and five and six. Nearly forgot. There's four of them. Now, these are like iridescent dusts and they change colour depending on what you put them on. Now I've put them on some odd combinations um, and you just get a completely different look every time. Now one thing that I would say is I don't really recommend to buy both three and four because they're actually extremely similar. Um, these both are kind of green and gold kind of flecks. Um, one that is super cool is Reflection 5. This is my favourite one and just like it completely transforms whatever you put it on. There are so many different combinations that you have with that. And this one here, um, sorry that one is like a kind of, it's got like a red kind of tint to it. This one here is more of a kind of like cool jade green tint and this one is reflection six and in fairness nobody's really wanted this one but this one's quite kind of unicorny very nice over like pastel colors and whatnot yes they are done and if i switch my lights off we might just catch them glowing can you see there yes you can so that's the pink one that's the aqua one and that's the electric blue one and I will say that actually the pink one doesn't glow as much as the other two um, but they're still very cool and I've done quite a bit of um, baby boomers with uh, glow in the dark tips for those ladies who have to have like kind of boring nails for their day job but when the lights go out they want to be a bit, uh, bit wild. Okay, so on to flakes. Now, you will find with Glitterati two types of flakes. And these are generally like about £6.50 a pot, something like that. Um, which, when you compare it to the price of maybe some of the cheaper Chinese suppliers or like eBay suppliers, you might think, oh, well, that's awfully expensive rather than just a couple of quid a pot. But look how chock full these are generally with other suppliers you get in 0.2 to 0.5 grams and what's in here is probably one gram plus um, this one is a uh, pixie watch flying fairies and mermaid in the making and i do actually have a swatch video for these which i'll put a link for um, on a card if you're watching on desktop or compatible mobile browsers and I'll also put it in the um, description box below um, for those of you on unsupported mobile browsers. Um, 
I will still include some pictures of these at the end, but I think enough said. They're basically iridescent unicorn flakes that look completely different colours depending on what you what you apply them over. And my tip top tip for these as well is to apply them on a clear pop and then you can hold that pop over um, different coloured um, like gel um, gel polish pops to see what they would look like without actually physically having to do all the pops and that tip top tip um, you will find in more detail in my one pop to rule them all video again I'll put a link so these flakes chameleon flakes um, these ones are not transparent or iridescent and as you can see there they're um, like kind of color shifting and a mixture of different colors as well metallic flakes which you still can put over different colors to get different effects but the different effect is mostly because of whatever color it is that's still kind of showing um, around the particles of the flake um, these are really really cool and you can apply these in a number of ways you can chrome them and you can just pat them you can mat them all sorts of stuff um, they all behave the same when you're actually applying them these and the unicorn flakes um, but here we have got electric shock which is like a orange and red one um, Cleopatra which is a green and purple one and then we've got Frisky and that one's like a, a bright kind of it's almost a match for um, the fuchsia holographic glitter that glitter art do almost close but no cigar um, yeah it goes real nice with that and it's very kind of like pink purple and with a gold flash so now onto some more pigments um, we have got here mirrored rose gold um, if you're on the Glitterati website, um, this is under mirror pigments and there's like a, a picture of like about four pops, I think. Um, a green one, this one, pink one and another color. And it just says like mirror pigments and you have to like go on, do it and then click on the drop down menu to pick the one you want. But see this one, OMG, it is so gorgeous. Now you'll notice as well, I show you this pigment which is unicorn magic this is a unichrome and if you don't know what a unichrome is what rock have you been hiding under omg they've been like really big spring summer 2017 um, and they don't show any signs of stopping that is a unichrome um, also known as a white chrome or a unicorn chrome it's basically like a, a semi-transparent iridescent chrome that refracts different colors and here's a pop I made earlier that's what it looks like over like a baby pink base and see how it kind of flashes blue and gold in the top and then kind of pink around the sides it's really 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 cool it's like that snow opal look so anywho as you can see the particles are real similar now when chromes first came out that used to be like a bad thing because you wouldn't get like a, a really good um, finish like a really high mirror finish um, and as chromes developed they became more like this and this is what you normally expect to see from a chrome a super fine kind of dust and this is actually a chameleon chrome and I'll go into all of these in, in a bit more detail this is just to demonstrate that with these ones you do still get like a mirror finish but you will see that due to the particle size you get a little bit of variation it won't even it won't even zoom in omg it can't it can't focus because it's so shiny um but in any case you can with the naked eye there you go see those 
see that there's tiny like little grains on there um, but they're so shiny that you can't notice and um, I'll include a picture of a mani that I've done with this rose gold um, chrome and I just love it I absolutely love it because it's so much nicer not only is it the perfect partner for the um, champagne bubbles mega mix but as you can see these are here's some I made earlier these are mostly with um, O star pigments when you do the trick of applying over like a, a bright coral there that's coral creeper so this was the closest that I've ever been able to get to a true rose gold using like a silver chrome pigment but you can see that it still does just look like um, kind of pinky silver or metallic pink it just doesn't have quite the same kind of warmth and and the same amount of gold tone um, that's the rose gold chrome and I really do love it um, as well as the Unicorn Magic, which is one of three Unicorn pigments that Glidrardi do. Um, this one, as you can see, is very kind of like, um, it's gold, and if I just switch the lights off a second, there. So you can see that there's a bit of kind of green in there, just flashing. Um, now, this one is more, I would say, kind of um, gold and gold, red and green toned. Um, there are two others that they do. Um, one's called Mermaid Magic, and that one is like more of a kind of blue green tone to it. And then there's Fairy Magic, which is more of like a pink purple tone to it. Um, I am hoping to get those pigments um, to compare and contrast. Um, it's just that I ain't made of money. So um, these two here are chameleon chromes. This one's called Charlie. This one's called KD. KD does feature in one of my other videos and KD flips from green to blue. She goes very nicely with the frisky flake. There's the actual pop of the frisky flake. Here's Charlie. So you can see that they go real nice together. So that's all the chromes done with, which brings us finally onto flakes, mylar flakes. Now, these here are the Arctic flakes, which you may recognize this one here. This one is Arctic Wolf and has starred in a, a few of my videos um, because it's awesome for doing realistic opal nails and I'll put links um, cards on the screen if you've got a compatible browser um, and I'll put links below in the description box um, but yeah this one is like really cool for making opals so when they brought out some more I got all of them except Arctic Bear and that's because I already have a flake from another supplier that I got ages and ages ago that is this kind of color see how it kind of um, flashes gold and blue so I already have a flake like that so I didn't bother with Arctic Bear um, now these ones are this one is called uh, Puffin I believe that one is Narwhal um, one of these is no this one is reindeer and one of these is seal and the other one is killer whale yeah seal seal and killer whale and I am really really interested to see how these look um, done up like opals because I'm pretty sure that because they're refracting different colors like these these two are refracting like a, an aqua and a red this one is more the red less the aqua this one's more the aqua less the red um, these three here are, well these two are similar to arctic wolf so that's puffin and um, narwhal yeah um, they're similar in that they're refracting kind of lights of pink and green but with less of the purple that we've got in here and then this one here is kind of it's aqua it's 
like a bright pinky purple it's got red it's got green it's got all sorts um so yeah i'm really gonna have some fun making some opals with those um so stay tuned for that um and those are micro mylar flakes these Two are on the website described as micro mylar flakes but as you can see the particle size is actually much bigger now I can actually use these as is and I actually have done so so here we go I made a, a sea opal and an amethyst opal um, and I possibly will be showing you how to do a, a sea opal um, in a future video probably I'm gonna have like another opals video at least one anyway but anyway as you can see as is the flakes are actually pretty cool unfortunately with this one I didn't put quite enough clear in there so it's a little bit kind of like dull so I, not bad for a first go um, but yeah you get like a nice effect with these but as you can see they're a bit thick so um, I have actually tried to put these through a pepper mill to grind them down and that didn't work. Um, so I might see if I can get some kind of little gadget off of eBay um, to just kind of grind them down to a smaller particle size just to reduce the bulk on the nail and you know to be able to get a nicer kind of like opal effect. And I just realized I didn't take my top off on this one. So one thing I will say about these, I mean, look at the size of the pot you get a lot of bang for your buck with these two so i definitely would recommend to have them um i don't think that they've got them in other colors than this i'm not 100 percent sure i'll confirm or deny that when i'm editing this video um but at first i used to think that their mylar flakes were like way expensive so i bought these from an ebay supplier and they look kind of cute but you open them up and you find that they're cut with all sorts of shit. There's like big nasty pieces of clear cellophane and there, there's a one. What, what the hell is this? Is this like someone's toenail clippings? What, why is that? Is that carrier bag? I don't know what that is. It's like really thick and hard. And there's quite a few of these in here. Like someone just took a sheet of perspex and carved it up and like what the, what the hell is that and ellie's a theft bomb oh <gasps> sorry viewers um i do actually swear a lot um it's amazing that i haven't sworn more in my videos actually um but yeah so you get what you pay for anywho so that is my glitterati flakes and pigments collection um i do hope that you found this video useful um, i know that it can be difficult sometimes to gauge the colors on the website um i really do recommend um glitterati though they're a great one-stop shop for all of your nail art stuff um and yeah i hope that you found this useful that you will enjoy using these products and thank you for watching i'll see you next time